Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daddy Dan blog. You know, I love saying that. Today, I'm taking a look at Dagar the Invincible, based on the cartoon from the 1960s. This is number nine from 1974. It's a Witten comic book, and I really dig this cover, even though I think Dagar may have been a Conan ripoff. Well, anyway, there's going to be a giant serpent and two heroes battling it. See, it says so right here on the front. So let's bug in and check this bad boy out. And we get that usual crap on the inside cover. I won't go through that again. I've covered it in previous videos. So, the comic book starts off with Dagar the Invincible, the Conan ripoff, and his hot chick, Princess Ariel, as they check out the giant serpent battling what looks like a giant sloth. So, they're just kind of spying on the devil snake. Well, this book seems to move kind of quick. In full panels, brought to you by the Daddy Dan blog, you can see Princess Ariel and Dagar as they spy on the giant serpent. You can see Princess Ariel and Dagar as they roll forth to find a little help from the tribe, the tribe of African natives. African natives? What? Well, let me say one thing, YouTube. I think the art in this book is even better than Conan. It's excellent art. As Dagar and Princess Ariel ride forth to find... To find the heroes to help them, Puma and Panther. Yeah, Panther and Puma. That's actually these fucks names. Ain't that some shit? Wow! Puma and Panther are gonna help Dagar fight a big snake. And then we get an ad for some really cool back patches. Back patches you could have bought in 1974. And may I add, I had a lot of these patches. My grandma would buy them. She would order them and sew them over the holes in my clothes, which were multiple. So in full panels, brought to you by the Daddy Dan blog, once more, Puma and Panther join Dagar. As, as, as Puma keeps fighting because she's weak. Ah! And they're planning to go fight this thing, the giant serpent, which is being controlled by Moloch. Moloch, 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 the crystal ball wielding guy. This is so much like a Conan book, it makes me sick. As the Black Panther is all worried because Puma's been sick. I think she got a hold of some of that snake poison or something. Uh, anyway, Dagar and Ariel show up. So, Dagar and Ariel are trying to convince some of the warriors at the village to help them, and it breaks out into a big fight where, where Dagar had to throw some people around like they punks, and Ariel has to show off her fighting ability as she attacks. Yeah, and the whole time all this drama's going on trying to get some help, the evil saucer, Mullock, Mike Mullock, he spied on them through his little crystal ball. You gotta give credit where credit's due. That's one evil-looking saucer conjuring up stuff with his crystal balls. Yeah, as he watches all these, and this is the guy who gave him the crystal balls, as he can control the snake with his ball, old man. And that's how he wound up with the crystal ball that controls the evil serpent. Oh, oh my God. And, 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 and then Black Panther's all hearing about the evil snake. He gets in a fight with some guys because they won't help him. Join Dagar to fight the evil serpent. Boy, this is some drug out drama in this book. Thank God for commercials. There's that batch you could buy. Somebody threw one of them on stage one day and Ozzy bit the head off. Then they threw a real one on stage and he bit the head off that and wound up getting some shots. But that's the original rubber bat you could order back in 1974. And then you could get whatever the blue hell this is. More decorations for your back, I guess. They got little patches and stuff. Uh, anyway, Black Panther's all upset. They going into battle. They argue and they fight and it turns into a fight for the death with these guys who would not help him as he, oh my God, the blood and the gore. Yeah, that's right. He's headed for the evil wizard's lair as he fights his way in. And he finds the ball of power. Whoa. But the evil wizard shows up and then they get into a thing and he has to flee as the soldiers attack him. You see, he's fleeing, but he looks like he stole the ball. And the evil wizard's like, ah, oh, you stole my balls! And now the hunt will begin. Right after these big, long commercials. And I got some big, long commercials where you could order this, order that, and do this, and do that. And I'm not going to go into all that because I've covered it all in previous videos. And I love these patches, though. I had so many of these, you would not believe it. So, Info Panels, brought to you by the Daily Dan Blog. Dagar and Ariel. Are trying to raise an army. 
to fight the evil serpent. Eh. That's so exciting, right? As they try to get in touch with Black Panther. Now, I'm going to call him Panther. His real name ain't Panther. But Panther, but the chick's name is really Puma. Panther and Puma are going to team up with Dagger to go fight a big snake. Oh, boy. You know, look as I may, I know that Dagar is based on an old cartoon series from the late 50s, early 60s. I could not find one clip. I could not find the theme song. And I looked everywhere for that. Has anybody ever seen it or heard of it? Mm. Anyway, Black Panther getting his weapons together. Black Panther planning to help Dagar. Look, he got him one of them big things with the spike balls. And he's planning to help Dagar fight the snake as we get another damn commercial. Uh, for Margie's free gifts or something for the whole family. I don't know what this is. I've never even seen one of these, I don't think. But it looks like some crap. Michael Marone, you can pause it and read it here if you want to. Uh, and look like the damn Archies. Ah, Josie and the freaking pussycat. So just as Dagar and the Black Panther guy hook up, that's when they're attacked by the evil wizard who's looking for his balls and his little band of troops, and then a big battle breaks out. Eh, but the wizard gets his ball and throws the light up and calls forth the serpent, it looks like. And the serpent appears and grabs Dagar and Panther in a horrible battle and says, But Princess Ariel, she was hiding in the background, and she looks up and attacks the wizard from behind who loses his ball. That's right, his crystal ball goes for a roll. He's all upset. He jumps in the water to try to grab it. Yay, I'm going to get my balls. You know, this may turn out to be one of the shortest comic book reviews I've ever done. As the wizard jumps into quicksand, and as he gets a hold of his balls, the black water sucks him down. Meanwhile, Dagar and Panther are embroiled in a horrible battle with the evil serpent thing. I have to admit, this comic book is good and it has great art, but it seems to have quite a few less pages than a normal comic book. As they battle and they battle and they kill what appears to be the snake, and of course, Wizard Guy sinks in the quicksand. And then we get the ad once again for some really cool stuff. Check out that. That mask was awesome. And you can learn Kung Fu. And we've talked about these x-ray glasses before, how they sucked and did not work. And then you can get this big plastic ghost you can hang on the back of your door. It was seven foot tall, probably 95 cents. It lasted about a week when the wind blew it, tore apart. Anyway, Dagar, Ariel, and Black Panther are upset because the crystal ball fell in the quicksand. They tie a rope to Dagger's ass and he goes fishing around in the swamp trying to find the ball. Uh, Black Panther is all upset. We have lost our balls. So in four panels brought to you by the Daily Dan blog. You know I love saying that. I really do. Ariel's crying tears because the balls are gone. Black Panther's all upset because the balls are gone. And we get to see some really wonderful comic book art in this book. I have to give credit where credit's due. It's drawn as good as any Conan I've ever seen. And it's reminiscent of a Conan comic book in a way. Black Panther's pissed. You have lost my balls. They will never recapture the balls. Yes, it's true. So we get a love story at the end where, where, where she has recovered from her venom attack. Puma is okay with beautiful Puma art. And her and Black Panther will prepare to do a Marvel movie sometime in the near future. Ah! And we finish up with a the end scene. And they just got to be shit out of their balls. But they didn't get the ball, but at least they stopped the serpent. And that was a pretty short comic book. It seemed like it was a lot shorter than the ones I usually do. What do you think, YouTube? Let me know in the comments below. And we're going to finish off this comic book with Toy Soldiers. Oh, boy, I had all this shit. Man, my brother used to use them for target practice with our BB guns. These little half-inch plastic thin things. And then you can get all the... God, they're trying to sell the hell out of these back patches, ain't they? Here's another ad. This is not the third one in this comic book for all these really cool back patches you could order back in the day. Oh. And on the back, you can sell a bunch of seeds, a bunch of crap. Yeah, 
It's true. And you could win some crappy prizes. The only one I ever liked was that racetrack. I think I've said that before. So let me take this time to tell everybody to be sure to check out my friend Pat McCormick on the Golden Rage of TV here on YouTube. Thank you, Pat McCormick. He provides music for my live stream on Saturday nights, 13 o'clock live with Daddy Dan. Be sure to check that out. You might enjoy it. We're doing Bigfoot for the next three weeks, and it's going to be some interesting stuff. And be sure to check out my friend Dave Sunstorm. You know, the good stuff guy. You can find him on YouTube, too, and I'm sure if you're following my channel, you know how to find Dave Sunstorm. The good stuff stuff guy and be sure to check out my other friends in the good stuff community ian over at retro cereal and thrash pondo ponds and moving right along that's my look at dagar the invincible dagar the invincible number nine from 1974 i have to say i really really enjoyed the art in this book i have to say the art was incredibly good. My kind of art. It's very reminiscent of a Conan comic book. The story was okay, not great, but the story was also a little reminiscent of a Conan movie I saw once with a giant snake and an evil wizard and a crystal ball. You know the one I'm thinking of, right? Let me know in the comments below if they actually show up what you think about this comic book and have you ever seen the series this comic book is based on. I've never seen the series. I've only read about it. And, and it's supposed to be a cartoon from the late 50s or early 60s, and I couldn't even find a theme song. Well, there you go. Let me know if you know anything about this. Till next time, this is Danny Staten on the Daddy Dan Blog. Thanks for joining me. Blog over, dudes.